Tombstone! <laughs> Let's freaking go. I just successfully solo tombstoned through the unstable rift. It worked perfectly, and I'm going to teach you how to do it. Furthermore, there's a sweet trick where even if you die in the unstable rift, you won't lose your original tombstone. Check it out. If you don't have the time to unlock everything and need assistance in your favorite games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto V, and more, then our sponsor, Damn Mods, is the place for you. They offer all camo unlocks, zombie schematics, bot lobbies, and more. Damn Mods has a five-star rating with thousands of reviews. Use the link below in the description and be sure to use code 1AD for 5% off your order. Right, now I'm going to show you two different methods on how to do the tombstone glitch solo for the unstable rift. It's important that you know both of these because the location of the unstable rift is relatively random, meaning there's many spawn points all around the map and it changes how you do it and when you do it. So. After you've completed the third obelisk like this, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check this video up here. I did a full tutorial on how to unlock the unstable rift or if you're just stealing somebody else's. That opens up. Now your unstable rift appears. It's always going to be somewhat close to the third obelisk, but it is random in which location it appears in. Now we've got it on the map. We're actually at it. Make sure nobody else is rushing to beat you. In this case, nobody went for it. Good news. Now because nobody is racing for it, I have a little bit of time in this case to go to a portal that I know so I can set myself up to get to the tombstone. Now I'm going to go B7, Southwest, the beach, the spot I like. If you like the water tower or something else, that's great. U up in backwards Q, activate it, and then sprint back towards the unstable rift. What really makes this complicated is you don't know if another team is going to try to steal it or not. I got lucky, nobody did, so it gave me time to do this. Otherwise, I'll show you the second method after this. It's much more guaranteed, but is harder to execute. All right, now you're approaching the unstable rift. You're going to look back towards your portal, start to activate it. You can walk while you're activating it. I'm already charging my Scorcher while I activate it. Get your two pumps up. Parachute, jump, do one Superman. Now head back to the portal. So this is just like any other tombstone glitch that we've done thousands of times. Pull your chute, don't die, obviously. Now, if you have a Juggernaut or a Mortar Strike, highly recommend it. It's going to buy you a few extra seconds that you probably need. So sprint with that. I'm pushing as far as I can. In this case, I vote with one second just because I'm pretty close to the limit. And go out right at six seconds. If you go out too early at seven, you'll lose all your weapons. Bad news. If you go out too late, it won't activate. So you're looking for the portal. Listening for the sound for Squad Eliminated. Boom. You're good. Now just let it load. You're not quitting because now we're going into the unstable rift to actually complete, honestly, the hardest challenge that they've had in zombie so far. Now, the second method is probably one you're going to run into a lot more solo. So open up the rift, look for it immediately and head over there. Notice this rift is actually very close to out of bounds. So I marked it right there so I know where it is. If someone is racing for it, if you're able to get to the out of bounds at that six seconds, then you're going to be much, much, much more likely to actually execute this consistently versus looking and hoping it appears during a portal. Another thing to note is that the unstable rift always appears somewhat close to wherever you pop that third obelisk. So now you can just float over and do your double boost. We have a ton of time because it was only 200 meters away. So I'm actually going to take time to find out exactly where that mark is. Okay, we know it's there. We can see I still have 12 seconds to vote. So I'm going to find this easy spot I can walk up to. There we go. Now we have the spot. Just to wait for a couple seconds to let that reset. Vote yes. And then again, we're going to wait for six seconds. So this method is going to be much more consistent because if there is a team racing for it, you can grab it and get out of bounds right away. Now let me show you the trick how to never lose your tombstone while in the unstable rift. This one's really cool. Now, if while fighting in the unstable rifts, especially if you're solo, you die, don't have any self reses, don't freak out. You will not lose your tombstone if you do this trick. And that's simply while you're bleeding out, don't give up. Instead, force quit the game. I know this feels counterintuitive. What it'll do is you will lose your gear, but you will keep your tombstone. Got it? So force quit, 
instead of just letting yourself die out. Now, if you're able to complete it, and you can now successfully expel, first off, congratulations, because it's freaking hard to do. But secondly, you can just leave like normal, get your successful expel, and still keep that tombstone while also getting all of your schematics unlocked. Last thing, I'll have a couple videos coming out in the next few days. One is a complete guide on how to get it solo. Trust me, you can do it with these methods and also how to do it with a duo or a team. It's much, much, much easier with the team, but I wanna give you both of those. So keep an eye out for those videos in the next few days. Like and subscribe if this video helped you. And as always for the newest Modern Warfare Zombies and Warzone content, I will see you live on YouTube.